Yes, it's not hard to find people who say that they've been a victim or know somebody who has. We also uh, spoke with them about their finances. They're not connected to this recent case that we're talking about, but everybody that we spoke with says that they are concerned about their money. Who would know when they do their car just real quick like that, that someone's taking their information? Winter Hegler says she got an alert from her bank about charges she didn't make. It took my information and they tried to get Spotify premium. And several other charges. Another man told us that him and his friend just got back from Florida. He used his cash up card at an ATM and from that day forward, somebody was trying to take money from his account. Even yesterday I talked to him, he said they're still, even though he closed the card, they're still trying to take money off of it every day. No one is safe. No one is safe. You always got to be uh, careful about your financial account. Two men are facing charges accused of placing skimming devices and camera equipment on ATMs around Hampton Roads. Federal prosecutors say Pavel Skahorian and Lucien Benajura are accused of withdrawing thousands of dollars from at least four victims' accounts from several banks in Norfolk, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, and Virginia Beach. Crime analyst Richard James says having your account hacked can be problematic. This happens a lot. It affects people's credit report. They usually won't find out about it for several uh, days or weeks. The FBI estimates that overall skimming costs financial institutions and consumers more than a billion dollars each year. It's just tough. Scamming is, is big business, so, um, you know, hopefully anybody who got scammed can kind of recoup what they lost if you can prove it. The FBI suggests picking a fuel pump or ATM that's well lit. Run your debit card as credit if you have that option. Cover the keypad when you enter your PIN. Use cards with chip technology and inspect card readers before using them. Look for anything loose, crooked, damaged or scratched. And don't use any card reader if you notice anything unusual. Well, I definitely just try to keep all my information concealed as much as I possibly can, you know, even at a gas pump whatever. For Winter, she got the situation cleared up with her bank, but felt like her privacy was violated. Nothing serious was done, but they could have taken everything I had and it could happen. If you want information on how to better protect your money, go to our website, WTKR.com. Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.